What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv, video order stuff, and in this video I'm checking out the facelift version of my current favourite on-camera monitor, the OC-T7. I want to show you what's actually changed with this version for 2022, we'll compare it to the original one and see how much OC have improved what was already a pretty good product. As ever, I've timestamped everything in this video and you can just skip to the bit you want down there. I now have a Patreon for this channel, the idea being that any funds from Patreon I put back into the channel, I buy gear and then give it away. So it's a non-profit thing and at the moment I have two giveaways running for around $500 worth of video gear and it's also inexpensive to be a backer around the cost of a cup of coffee. So if this content is interesting and helpful to you, do check out the link, it's down below. It's important to note that this is not a T7 Mark II rather a facelift version as of summer 2022. So what's changed? Well, a few things. The first thing is the addition of an internal fan, and obviously it's going to perform better with this. So for me, it's a welcome addition. Plus I found it not very loud at all, which I know is important to some people. You do get some control of the fan in the menu system, sort of. You can actually tell the screen what the ambient temperature is and it will adjust the fan speed accordingly. You may be thinking, well that's silly, why isn't this automatic? And well, usually it's not. Usually you'd only get the option of off, low and high. This way you can set your temperature, and by the way OC recommend that you overestimate and the fan will do the appropriate cooling. It's also worth noting that the brightness of your backlight will also impact the fan level, so that's worth bearing in mind as well. The second thing that's changed is OC have removed the internal speaker, and this makes a lot of sense to me. The original T7 has this hilarious issue where when you first plug it in and switch it on, you get insane feedback from the internal mic of your camera, coming out of the speaker of the T7 and just feeding back. And of course, it's new to you as a product, so you have no idea how to turn it off. The speaker also wasn't good quality and wasn't loud enough as well to be of any use. So I'm sure the feedback from T7 users was, uh, they, they never use it, get rid of it. Lastly, and most importantly, OC have upgraded the screen to a beautiful new display. It's still the same resolution, HD, which gives you plenty of pixel density for a monitor of this size, but the quality of it has seen a huge jump. Of course, I will show you side-by-side -side comparisons in just a moment, but I keep calling this a facelift version, maybe inaccurately, because facelift, to me, usually suggests some sort of cosmetic upgrade? Let's talk about construction. I reviewed the original T7, and of course I'll link that up here somewhere and down below, and when this arrived I shot new b-roll for it. I shouldn't have bothered. The chassis is identical. I thought there would be an additional hole somewhere for the fan, but nope, that was on the original. As they've removed the speaker, I thought they'd cover up the speaker holes, but again, curiously, it's exactly the same. Here are the old and new monitors side by side, and can you tell the difference between monitor one and monitor two? Nope, me neither. Well, monitor two is the new one. Psych, it's actually monitor one. So really the headline is this new screen and it's kind of a big deal, like, like putting a really fancy newer engine in your car or something. So now let me show you what the old version and the new version look like side by side so we can compare. So this is a clip filming the old T7 screen, and straight away I know some of you will be thinking, well, what did you do to this clip? And all I did is I shot it in S-Log3, and I dropped on a very basic conversion lookup table. And this is just kind of how it looks. Lots of contrast, not loads of saturation. And then comparing it to the new one, it looks like this. It's just night and day, and again, I've done nothing special to this clip. I've copied the same grading settings from the first one to this one, and the settings in the monitor itself were exactly the same, including the backlight setting. Overall, a huge improvement. Let's see what they look like side by side. So here we are. This is me testing the facelifted OCT7. We've got some highlights you can see up here with the LED light. We've got more highlights here with the nice Edison bulb. There's some shadow areas here, just over my shoulder, and I don't know, how is it displaying skin tones? So far, I've really liked the new one, but what do you think? So to me, the new display looks fantastic, particularly the colors, they just look wonderful. If I didn't know better, I would have assumed it was one of those, you know, faux 10-bit displays that use that technology called FRC, frame rate control. 
that really closely mimic the colour that you would get on a, on a real 10-bit display. It's not FRC, just for the record, but to me the colours look far more accurate and vibrant, and I even liked the colours that you got from the old version. Don't get me wrong, it's not like they've just increased saturation, that's not what's happened here. It's almost like, you know when you first get your footage into your editing software and you drop on, say, a conversion LUT? That's the kind of thing, that's kind of what it looks like, so just, just better. The detail to me looks the same, but that's never been an issue for me for the, with the T7. To me, it's always been a little too contrasty, the, the kind of the look that you get when shooting in a log mode like S-Log3. And to me, this has definitely been fixed on the new one. It's almost like they figured out how to map the Luma values in a far more intelligent way and um, and it, it just looks good. It looks really good now. So after all this, it's left me thinking, yeah, these changes are all really welcome, but should OC have just held on a bit and released a Mark II? And if so, what should that Mark II look like? Well, firstly, I would say a touchscreen in addition to the single joystick. I don't mind this, but we've all become so accustomed to pinch zooming and the only thing with this is it would have to be as kind of accurate and responsive as a phone because most of the ones I tried are not. I'd love to see a new chassis material. It's fine, it's just kind of a plastic, but a lightweight aluminium would really just take this to the next level and it would feel just so much more premium. Some kind of wireless or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth functionality would be really good for this monitor. I recently reviewed the Portkey's LH5P monitor, which allows you know a little bit of functionality from your camera on, on the screen. Now sure, in that video I said, I probably wouldn't be using this, but I know for some people they would really like it and it kind of, it just opens the doors to so much potential. I already mentioned the FRC 10-bit panels and I think this would be a no-brainer for a Mark II. These FRC panels, they're not as expensive as the true 10-bit. In fact, they're only a fraction of the price. So yeah, like I said, this will be a no-brainer for the Mark II. Lastly, I'd love to see a built-in recorder in this to capture codecs like RAW or you know some kind of ProRes, ProRes RAW, that kind of thing. And I know that this would take it to another level in terms of pricing, but as long as OC are doing OC, doing what OC do best, and that's, you know, that's delivering a product that can undercut, you know, small HD and Atomos, those kind of products, then they're winning. And that's, that's what they should be doing, crushing the competition with their amazing value. I have no idea if OC are planning a Mark II, by the way. I don't have any kind of insider knowledge or anything like that. But what this does suggest to me with these kind of upgrades is that the T7 is nowhere near the end of its product life cycle. So really to sum up, I would say this T7 is better than ever. It is indeed. However, if you already own one, my advice is don't you dare even think about upgrading to this save your cash. If you bought one new after the release date of this video, then well done, you've got a really nice monitor, but either way, you've got a great monitor, old or new. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this video interesting and helpful. I've made hundreds of videos now about videography and audio on this channel, of which YouTube has recommended this video for you to watch next, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until the next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. Mm -hmm.